The Center for Educational Outreach is a group of educators, STEM professionals, who have come together to really make sure that the K-12 community and students are exposed to STEM at an early age. STEM being science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So we host a variety of programming in partnership with the local school district to give students experiences in STEM with hopes that they would go into a STEM career or study STEM beyond the K-12 environment. Not only do we work to encourage and inspire students, but we also engage our Hopkins faculty, students, and staff in our outreach experiences as well so that they can pour into the next generation. You know, post-pandemic, we knew that we had academic gaps with students, that they needed to catch up. And so what we did was work directly with the School of Engineering and the President's Office at Johns Hopkins to say, let's access amazing tutors and let's get them to help us work with students. There's been real connections that have been made from the, the, the tutor to the student and the student to the tutor. I, I mean, it's been a win-win all over the place. They have the opportunity to build a relationship with their mentor over time, over the course of the year when they work with them. It's someone I can relate to, someone also in school, and it built me a really nice bond and a connection where I can talk to the tutor without feeling ashamed you know, a really nice friend. And personally, I say it's better than just having a teacher. While they are building that healthy relationship and mentorship opportunity, we also want to increase their math skills. Based on our uh, assessment results, we're seeing real progress of the students who are receiving tutoring. Having a JHU tutor in math has helped me because we're learning pre-algebra, and in math class, we're learning algebra one. So it's helping me get that nice refresh before I go to high school. The Charm City STEM League is a part of our organization that provides mentors to Maryland Science Olympiad teams in Baltimore City Public Schools. Each week we have multiple Hopkins students that are going out to elementary, middle, and high schools in the district to work with students after school. Working with C CCSL is great. The kids really get a chance to focus on an event, really test it, and really learn science and engineering properties of, you know, you're going to fail a thousand times before you succeed. The soft skills our students pick up along the way are teamwork and communication and trying things, getting outside your comfort zone, being able to problem solve. Those soft skills make CCSL worth it and of course STEM is just fun. <laughs> they have role models, they get to go to college campuses, they get a chance to interact with college kids. It sort of widens their world view. I'm a resource in terms of academia, science, STEM, careers. It's also just a great like relationship building model. I've been here at Hampstead Hill for the last two years. I've worked with the same students for the last two years. Um, and so I've gotten to see them grow over the course of these two years and get to do greater and better things. I've seen them win medals. I've seen them <laughs> jump in confidence in certain areas. A lot of times the teacher-student relationship is, is static. But when I'm a coach for Science Olympiad, it's more of a, a mentor-mentee kind of relationship. It's more fun that way. Why do internships in science and engineering is our WISE program for high school students. WISE provides an opportunity for them to come onto campus for a semester to conduct research in a lab. And that is an opportunity that they have to dive a little deeper into a particular discipline within STEM to see if it is something that they enjoy. I think the WISE program really gives high school students a great flavor of what research is about. I think that can be really helpful thinking about you know, what to major in college. It's really good for trying out a career or a major that you might want to try in college. When you're on the campus, it almost feels like you're a college student here and you're majoring in research and you get all this hands-on experience. I've gained not only um, relationships with other people, but also I've gained so much knowledge. I would a thousand percent recommend this um, program to other students, especially if you want to pursue research or if you just want to you know, try out different things in careers. It's a great way to make new friends and meet new people and also get that college experience without actually having to pay for it. In fact, they pay you and it's a good resume builder. The WISE program is a really great experience in learning how to be a good mentor, and I think that's just a really important skill for folks like myself to hone in on and for PhD students to learn. This program actually not only got me ready to like know how to teach students, but also brought in my knowledge of the field that I'm working with. When I was a high school student, I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I wish I had a program like this to 
have someone to direct me. I would definitely recommend that other labs host WISE students. I think it's just a really fun opportunity to work with and mentor students in a capacity that we don't usually get to do, and also kind of expand the reach of the research that we do beyond just the bubble of a university campus and, and interact with folks in the wider community. Our schools need help and support. And the idea that we have a structured tutoring program based on the best research, like we know that students, if they get 50 hours or more of tutoring, it can really impact their student achievement. And having partners who are able to kind of work with us and deliver high quality tutoring is gonna help all schools.